Although that Canadian truck convoy seems not to have spawned an American version, our coast-to-coast -coast quarrel over mandates seems only to be gaining, even as COVID itself is gradually waning. However useful masks and vaccines are battling this novel coronavirus, meaning like nothing we've ever seen before, better safe than sorry protocols were better tolerated two years ago. As too many have suffered and died, resistors who relented and got the jab saved face by calling it their choice, not something government should require. But nanny state grievances are nothing new, and rules intended to protect us are inconsistent enough to irk and confuse. Example, requiring motorcyclists to wear helmets. Some states do, others don't, despite the risk of not wearing one. Then New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg got the late night comedian's horse laugh for restricting the sale of sugary soft drinks larger than 16 ounces, like you couldn't just buy two. Food packaging and fast food wall menus now list calorie counts. And a state legislator where I live in Rhode Island has introduced a bill to ban nips, those little booze bottles they used to serve on airplanes to fight roadside litter and because people drink while driving. Governments have been discouraging smoking for decades. The restrictions vary state to state and even city to city. And none here approach what's being proposed in New Zealand. In an editorial entitled A Ban Too Far, Cigar Aficionado magazine admits we are all for keeping cigars and all tobacco products out of the hands of children. Cigars are meant for adults. But this plan is engineered to keep most types of tobacco out of their hands forever. And they explain that currently people who are 18 years old and able to purchase tobacco in New Zealand, but if this proposal becomes law, beginning in 2025, that minimum will increase by one year every year in perpetuity. So in 2025, the minimum age would become 19. In 2026, it goes to 20 and so on. Do the math. Should this pass, anyone born after 2005 in New Zealand will never ever grow old enough to buy a cigar or cigarette. Boom times for the black market. Suggestion. Instead of asking government to govern stuff like this, ask your doctor about smoking or sugary drinks. Or if your doc has ever treated a motorcyclist who wiped out without a helmet, or about eating and drinking smarter, and about getting vaccinated.